Hello everyone, it's Janice here. I wanted to uh, come on today and let um, all of my subbies know about a, um, a new challenge that Diamond Dies has going on. Now this is for, for Facebook. Uh, this is not for YouTube. This is for, for you know, the uh, Diamond Dies Facebook page. And um, it's called Diamond Dies Blooms for Fall. And uh, what Diamond Dies is wanting you to do is um, make flowers with your Diamond Dies. You know, the, um, the, the dies, the flower dies that Diamond Dies has. Um, you know, make flowers and uh, use them on any project that you want to. Um, Diamond Dies has some wonderful uh, flower dies out right now, y'all. So, uh, you definitely want to get over there and uh, check them out. And if you don't know this, they're having a great sale right now. All the dies in the store are at least 10% off. And you can use my coupon code, thanks Janice, to get another 10% off. I will have that in the description box below. Um, you know, along with the uh, the Facebook link and, um, you know, any other information that I might forget to tell you. I will put all that in the uh, description box below. But basically, um, Diamond Dies would like to see the prettiest fall flowers that you can make. And, um, uh, you know, just use them on any project you want to. This is going to go from October the 1st, today through the 31st so the whole month of October you have to do this all right um, and what you do let's see after you get your project done you would go over which you can go over to the Facebook page to find out all of this like I said I'll have the link down below um, and you can you know uh, post a, a picture of your a photo of your project or a video of your project for the for Facebook and you can enter as many projects as you like also let's see oh and um, the way that the way that we're going to um, have the winners is all of us design team members are going to get to vote on the uh, project so that's going to be a lot of fun I really look forward to that and um, now what do you win the first place is going to get a $20 gift certificate to Diamond Dies second place winner will get a $15 gift certificate to Diamond Dies and the third place winner will get a ten dollar gift certificate to Diamond Dies. Now, uh, D is also going to uh, do a random dot org uh, winner. That'll be a, a fourth winner, and um, that'll be you know chosen by random dot org, and she's going to get or he will get a, a ten dollar gift certificate. So anyway, yeah, and like I said, there are so many beautiful flowers to choose from right now. Also, let me just remind y'all that we ha still have the um, uh, fall, sorry, fall is, the Diamond Dies Fall is in the Air YouTube Hop is still going on until the 5th. So, you know, um, if you haven't done that, you could do that and, you know, have a, the chance to, um, you know, win, win that, and that could go toward your flower purchase. Just an idea, you know. Okay, um, I did want to go ahead, though, and, and um, show some of the flowers that Diamond Dies has. Now, there are two sets that I don't have, and that is the Sunflower set and the Poinsettia set. But I, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and order those so that, that I can have those to play along with. Okay, um, the Aster Flowers. I love this set. Now, I do, in fact, already have a tutorial up on, on this set and the Sugar Plum Flowers set. If y'all would like to go, you know, back and uh, check those out. But I am planning to sit down in the next couple of days and make some flowers 
you know, with all of these dies that I have, and, um, you know, and, and maybe see what I can come up with different, or, um, you know, anyway, I'm planning to do another tutorial on some type of flower here, and if y'all have any, you know, suggestion or, or uh, something that you would like to see me make, um, you know, I would love that. I would love to do that for y'all, so, yeah, just let me know. Okay, and now, like I said, this is the asters flower. Asters are, gosh, there are so many different types of asters flowers. In fact, I googled it, uh, you know, back, back whenever I did the uh, tutorial, and there are some beautiful asters flowers, y'all. You should google it and look at some of them. Uh, you know, the real flowers they're beautiful okay and um let's see it's a one two three four five six piece die set and this right here is what they cut out like i went ahead and cut out all of these in just white you know cardstock so that y'all could just get an idea you know of the sizes of these flowers Okay, and I do have a couple of these asters flowers that, that I have the uh, tutorial up uh, to show y'all here. And they are just gorgeous. Look at that. They're just very lush flowers. And I just love the fuzzy centers that I've made to put in those. And then this is a different type of aster flower that I made with the fuzzy centers. Aster's flowers have yellow centers is, you know, what I learned on the uh, Google when I Googled it. <laughs> so, but of course, you know, we can make any, any color we want. It's our imagination. I always say that. Our dye, our imagination, and we can do whatever we want. Okay, that's the Aster's. Now for the sugar plum flowers. And I made sugar plum roses on my tutorial. And um, this is a seven piece uh, flower set. And this is what they cut out like. Oh, I forgot to mention these uh, aster flowers, the, they have 12 petals, okay? The uh, sugar plum flowers have five petals on each. And this is what they cut out like. Okay. Just really pretty. I love, love, love the uh, edges on these. And I do have a couple of these that I had, had uh, you know, from, from whenever I did the uh, tutorial. And on these, what I did is I, which you can go back and check, uh, the tutorial if you would like but on these I sprayed them with water before I shaped them and that and then after they dry it just really gives the your paper a different texture I just love it and these came out very very shabby as you can see and I just love that look and I did I don't think you can see that but I sprayed them down a little bit too with some uh, shimmer sp shimmery spray. Uh, all right. And then the uh, fancy flower set. And that is this set. And that's a five piece set. I'm so sorry. It's 12 o'clock noon Wednesday here. If y'all hear that siren going off, it's right outside my house so I apologize for that okay anyway this is a five piece set I love 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 these I did in fact have some of these made up and I don't know if I used them on something or what but I couldn't find them so I will you know uh, get a couple of those made up to show y'all here within the next day or so in fact that may be the one I play with first but this is what they cut out like very very pretty I love that flower let's see One, two, eight, nine, ten, eleven. this is a 12 12 petal flower as well okay 
Now the realistic rose. This is the very first die that Diamond Dies came out with, y'all. Alright, and this is a six petal flower. These are a good size. And it's these two right here that is in that set. Okay? And then in the mini must have set, you get a smaller version of the realistic rose. Okay? It's the same cut, just a smaller version. So you can make smaller, uh, you know, roses. Or flowers of any type, of course, and um, or you could make your, you, you know, your roses more dimensional if you wanted to go go, you know, from from big to small. You know, sometimes that is a very pretty flower when you do that. <clears throat> you know, not necessarily a rose, but just to stack your flowers and and um, kind of play with them with your tools, or like I said, to to spray them down and. Um, crinkle them a bit. It just really makes a really pretty flower. Okay, and then also, uh, whenever you get the um, the uh, mini must-have set, you also get this leaf set right here. This little leaf along with it. Of course, you get butterflies and a bird too. But, you know, you get a, a, lot, for, a, a lot for your money with this set. I love this set. It's a lot of fun to play with. And that leaf, this is what it cut, cuts out like that you get in your mini must-haves. And it's just perfect, you know, to go on the uh, bottom of some of your uh, smaller flowers. And also, I wanted to um, mention to uh, not forget about all the beautiful leaves and, and uh, flourishes that, that Diamond Dyes has to uh, accent your flowers with you know um, she has the uh, fall fl uh, fall leaves I'm so sorry the fall leaves set and this is what they cut out like Let me get this piece of paper back up here so I can show y'all see aren't they pretty they're they're little they're just you know pretty little so it's just perfect to use with your flowers Love these. I just got these. I haven't had a chance to play with these a lot. They just came in with my uh, Halloween dyes. And then the uh, beautiful pine branch, which is so lovely for, uh, you know, fall and Christmas projects. Love this one. <clears throat> you know, it just will look beautiful with the... Um, with the flowers and I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these on this right now so that I can just pick this up and share it and then the uh, the fern leaf that's the fern leaf die and this is what it cuts out like and then the uh, fancy flourish and that's what it cuts out like you know and all of these will just be beautiful with your um, handmade flowers of course so, all right, I guess that's about it for now, y'all. Um, if I did forget to uh, mention anything, I will put it in the description box below. So, um, get, get busy making your flowers. Um, and uh, if you don't have any of the dyes, get over to Diamond Dyes, because right now is just a great time to uh, purchase them, because they're on sale. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.